Put your arm back on me. Stop touching okay. me. Go away then. Stop touching Go me. Go away. Go on then. On I'm on public footpath. So these guys just approached me. This guy here grabbed hold of me, touched me. This guy here telling me to take my phone out of my thing. I'm not. I'm going to set up again in a minute. I am. I am. I am. I am. We just spoken to the police and they've told us this. All right, go and get the go and get the police then. Yeah, good. I'm not having these guys bullying me, coming over like no, surrounding me. Over, I'm just coming over to tell them. Still following me, causing me alarm and distress. Um, just under the DPI, do not give my consent for that to be used in any way, shape, or form. Right, under I'm the in. Data Protection Act, I'd like to exercise my right for you to delete that at some point in the next. Right, okay. Uh, well, under days. the okay. under the GDPR Act, I'm not a company, so it doesn't follow. Let that regulation. I'm on a footpath, so you've come over to me. You're on the film, mate. Uh, actually, you're on the licensed footprint for this event. Footpath, at the moment. mate. Footpath. Public that. footpath. Oh, that's the public footpath over there. Public footpath, my friends. Public footpath. Public footpath, mate. Okay, that's the public footpath over there. The, 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 the bit for tarmac. tarmac. You're not. Yes, you're right. That's where I'm going to fly the drone from. Okay. That footage you saw was from Auditing England. That's Auditing England. There is a link to the original video in the description, so please check that out. Right, watchers. So in this video, you're gonna see the footage of my experience of filming around Reading Festival in 2023. I'm going to walk down along the river. I'm gonna sit on a bench, and then you will see the footage of me coming back that's going to be sped up or uh, in time lapse so that it doesn't take up the whole video. There will be a police interaction and then there'll be some further filming and footage of me following up on what happened after my interaction with the police. And whenever the footage is relevant to what happened to Auditing England last year, I'll interject just to explain why what happened to him was completely wrong. So you may have heard the guy in the Range Rover say you're now within the licensed footprint of the festival. That's because the organisers of Reading Festival have to go to Reading Borough Council and agree the licensing conditions that will allow the festival to function. One of those licensing conditions is around footpaths and how the footpaths operate for the duration of Reading Festival. Whether they're open, whether they're closed, or whether they're closed at specific times. So just because there's a licensing condition in place for this area does not mean you're suddenly on Reading Festival site and subject to all terms and conditions of Reading Festival. There is one or two very specific operating conditions for this footpath and security are only responsible for making sure that those very specific operating conditions are maintained throughout the festival. They do not have carte blanche to marshal every member of the public while they're lawfully and legally walking or using the footpath for leisure activities. So should you have to stick to the tarmac because that's the footpath? Absolutely not, no. That security guard was wrong and why on earth that childish sergeant backed him up, I'll never know. If you look on Google Maps, this is called Rivermead Park. According to the council notice board, it's Promenade Park, part of a series of parks along the Thames as it runs through Reading. Typically if I was walking down here I'd do a loop that would take about 20 or 30 minutes. However, as the festival's on, those footpaths are closed 
and therefore the only loop you could do would be an additional mile till the next footpath that would allow you to turn left and back on yourself and then you'd obviously have to come back on yourself an additional mile. So therefore what I did and what a lot of other dog walkers and local residents walking were doing, walk down, turn around and walk back. I mention that because it, it's relevant later um, and I'll fast forward through this bit it's just me walking back. <laughs> Are you all right? Are you not going to talk to him? Have you got tickets going today? Do you want to talk to me? Do you need any help? I just saw you wandering up and down there. I just wanted to check you were all right. Am I on YouTube? I am the face of face on YouTube, am I? Uh, are you here just to try and catch us out? Is that what you're trying to do? I was supposed to say something to get me in trouble. I'm oh, just checking you were all right, mate. You see you walking up and down here. You just look a bit lost. You all right? Do you need any help? <laughs> Just laughing. What? Do you need any help? I'll take that as a no. All right. Well, we're here. I'm from the safeguarding team. So if you need any assistance, just come and give us a shout. Oh, it's for YouTube. He wants you to be rude or something so we can all get into trouble. <laughs> it's all right. I'm not stopping you. You can head off this one. What's your name? It's fine, I've offered him some assistance. He doesn't want any assistance. Well, we have got a section 35 in place. If oh, so what's... Why have we got intel through, is not we? If we're not happy. Right, it's been flagged up to us that obviously because of your behaviour, you've been going up and down here, very much eyes on your people. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we have got a job to do here. It is a festival and... We've got a lot of underage people here. So obviously this will be your opportunity to tell us as to why you are here. If there's a legitimate, legitimate reason and you're out for a walk, then just that's fine. If you're not, then obviously we'll need to look into it. So do you want to say who you are?
Excuse me, what was that? So after that, I was then monitored from a distance while I stayed by the river. There was a drone overhead monitoring me at all times and there was various police officers that stayed within eye shot of me. Eventually they lost all interest in me after about half an hour and at that point I left. But don't worry, I came back the next day to make sure that they knew I was going to walk along the public footpath as a member of the public without being intimidated. Officer? Excuse me, officer. I'm talking. No, you're not gonna catch me <laughs> Well, you didn't tell me you turned your body worn camera on, so if it was on, we'll see. How can I help you, sir? Uh, yeah, did you take a photo of me yesterday? Me? No, you, you didn't. Seen me. Check your camera. Uh, oh, I, just, I heard you speaking to security and you tapped your camera and you said, oh, I've got him. I just wondered that and then you took uh, a photo. No, when I spoke to you yesterday, I had my body um, camera on, didn't I? It was on, was I, it? Yeah, I always turn it on if I'm going to think I'm going to be dealing with someone who needs help or okay. something, and I thought okay. you needed help, but you clearly don't. No, thank you. Have a good day. Oh, oh, spread the love. No, thank you. When's the section 34 in place till? I don't know, we're just on the gates up here. You'd have okay. to ask an officer who's actually dealing with stuff out here. Okay. Why have you been given a dispersal? No, no, it's your <laughs> colleague yesterday said that it was, there was one in place. So I just wondered like when, wh when from until when and, oh, right, yeah. and what area. Yeah. Well, if you get one, you'd be given a map. Okay. All right. Okay. You looking for one? No, 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 I know. I, I'm just... To give, give you one at the moment, so, you know, keep trying. <laughs> okay. I don't want one. Right, make sure to hit the like button if you want a part two, which will go into more detail about the Section 35 powers and how they're extended beyond the 48-hour period as set out in the legislation. There's a couple of encounters I have with the guy who attacked Auditing England, and I can discuss his conduct and how that may have changed. Also, I go round to the location that Auditing England was assaulted, and I can look into a bit more detail about whether or not he was in public or private land and whether it was justified at all it wasn't um so yeah if you want that part two hit the like button and as always please make sure you subscribe and leave me a comment on what you think cheers guys